everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Pam and today's video is going to be all the book series that I need to complete yay <laughs> so um there are some I realized while watching my TBR that I have a lot of series that I haven't finished yet yeah and um I feel a bit ashamed about that. Um, there are some series that I have all the books on my TBR, my physical TBR to finish them. And I just haven't yet. Um, yeah, there are some books that I do not own physically. So I, yeah, I tend to like forget about them because I don't have them physically with me. But um, there are some that I, have the entirety or I have like all the books that are actually out now um, so yeah so I wanted to make a list of all the book series that I need to finish that I haven't finished yet and that I want to finish <laughs> and maybe um, like let's see a year later like next year at the same time I'll go back to this video and see how many series that I did complete. I think it's gonna be really interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the books series that I have physically on my TBR. And then I'm gonna um, list all the books that I don't have physically on my TBR, but I still want to finish them. So first of all, I started this year in January? I think it was in January. I read The Fellowship of the Ring. So I have The Two Towers and The Return of the King to read to be complete with the Lord of the Rings series. I have them, as you can tell, physically. Um, I think why I, never, I didn't pick them up. Well, I have in February, all I wanted to read books by female author and obviously she J.R.R. Tolkien. Hey! Don't eat that! No! <laughs> and obviously J.R.R. Tolkien is not female, so yeah. In March, um, I don't know, it just, yeah, it never, it was not meant to be. And I think they're not good books to pick during a readathon. So, and in April, um, I participate in the Owl's Magical Readathon and yeah, they're not Good books to pick in a readathon, you know, they're big and massive. So yeah, but I have them. I will not have an explanation for all of them, but yeah. Um another one. <laughs> um, but it's this one is not completed, but I have all the books that are out on my TBR, and that is <laughs> <sighs> a Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. Martin. George. George. <laughs> um, I have a Storm of Swords, which I started. I'm like almost halfway through. I'm gonna finish this at some point. A Feast for Crows and a Dance for a Dance with Dragons. So I have all the books physically on my TBR. So I have no excuses. Well, I do. I do have one good excuses. They're absolutely massive. They're so big like one book can take me like two weeks to read so yeah they're too big <laughs> too too big um a one that i'm pretty sure i'm gonna finish probably pretty soon because i've read um the second book last month and that is the wayfarer series by bacon chambers so i only have the third book record of a spaceborn few to read so yeah i just have one book and I'm gonna be done with this series, so yeah. Um, another series that I'm confident I'm gonna finish, like because I'm obsessed with it, and it's the Earls of Olympus series. So I only have two books left. So um, I have the House of Eighties and the Blood of Olympus. So yeah, I'm gonna f I'm gonna finish those ones for sure this year. Like yeah, I'm obsessed with them. Um, another book <laughs> that i have only one book left for me to be done with the series it's the um 
Zeros series by Scott Westerfeld, Margot Lanigan, and Deborah Biancanti Biancati. Um, this is a young adult series about uh, anti-heroes anti that has superpowers and stuff. Um, but yeah, I only have the third book left. I have Zeros, Air, and Swarm, the second book. I enjoy them, you know, I think I gave them both like 3.5 or 4 stars. I enjoy them. They're, they're fun. They're not like the best book out there, but they're fun. And I have it on my shelf. So, gonna read it. I have to. Another one that I still have just one book left to finish it is um, There Are Mighty Things by Edgar Kaczynski. This is the second book, One Giant Leap. This is a duology, a space duology. And I have the second book on my shelf for quite some time. And I still haven't picked it up even though i really enjoyed the first one that tends to be like a trend then i have two series that i started um this month in april so yeah it's normal i haven't finished them yet but um i do have all the books in my position in my um tbr so the first one is the southern reach series so i read annihilation in april so i have authority second book and acceptance the third book um on my shelf so yeah i'm probably confident i'm gonna read them this year i really really enjoy annihilation so uh, the other one is the binti trilogy so i have the second book binti home and the Night Masquerade, um, the third book. They're really short books. Um, they're sci-fi, they're really great. Uh, well, the first one is really great. Um, I don't know about these ones, but I have high hopes. Um, they're good. And I think I'm gonna be able to finish them also this year. So there's some like book series that I'm pretty confident I'm gonna be able to read them this year and complete them, like be done with it or be up to date, you know? Talking to you, George R.R. R. Martin. We're still waiting for the winds of winter. Anyway, then I have one series that it's not completed and I still uh, have one book left that I don't own. But um, yeah, it's the um, Witchlands series. So I read Through the Witch. Um, I have on my TBR Wind Witch and Sight Witch, the novella. Um, I don't have Blood Witch, but um, I will get it when I'll be there. So yeah, and this series is not completed yet. So yeah, maybe it's why I'm putting it off because I know it's not done yet. And a one that is uh, completed, but I only have the second book on my TBR and that is the Diviner series with um, A Lair of Dreams being the second book. I have the second book. I don't own third and the fourth. So maybe that's why I'm putting it off too. Because I want to buy less books. Then let's go with books that I don't own physically on my TBR. So the first um, one is Winter, which is the fourth book in the Lunar Chronicle series. Um, I do own the first three books, but I don't have the fourth book. I want I want it in art cover, in the original US cover. Yeah, you know, I think there's only one cover. Anyway, um, they redesign the covers. I think they're gorgeous, but I want the fourth one to just match with the first three ones. So next is um, the last two books in the Mag Magisterium series by Ollie Black and Cassandra Clare. This is a middle grade series. I, I enjoyed it. I think the first three books are great. I gave them four stars. Um, I read The Iron Trial, The Copper Gauntlet, and The Bronze Key. I still have The Silver Mask and The Golden Tower to read, so... But I don't own them physically. Then I have the uh, second book in the Prosper Reading series, Duology, by Alexandra Bracken, another middle grade series that I really enjoyed. I really loved the first one the first one. The last one is The Last Life of Alistair, of Prince Alistair. And um, yeah, I don't own it physically, so. Um, then it's the Cassidy Blake series, trilogies. I'm not sure, by uh, Victoria Schwab. 
This is our middle grade series and I read the first one being City of Ghosts. I still have a Tunnel of Bones, the second book to read and the third one I think is coming out this year um, which is Bridge of Souls. Um, I also have the Wayward uh, Children series by uh, Shannon McGuire. I did read the first four books, um, Every Heart a Doorway, um, Down Among the Stinks and Bones, Beneath the Sugar Sky, <laughs> and An Absent Dream. Um, I have the third book, to, uh, the fifth book left to read, which is Come Tumbling Down. Um, I'm probably gonna listen to it on audio. Um, I only own the first, uh, the, the second one, um, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, so I don't have to have that one physically, which I, I would like to, but... Then I have the Shadow Me series, so I only have the last book, um, which just came out April 7th, so, which is Imagine Me. Um, it's by Thora Mafi, and yeah, I only have the sixth and final book to read, so, um, and I'm, I'll be done, which I'm really sad about, but... Next is a duology, it's the Heart of Hiron, um duology by Ashley Polston. I still have Soul of Stars, I think that's the title, um, which is the second book. I really enjoyed Heart of Hiron. Um, I think it was really fast-paced, really fun book, so... Yeah. Another duology is The Final Six by Alexandra Monier. This is another space um, duology. I really, really enjoyed The Final Six. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for Life Below. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's called The Life Below. I'm really excited for this one, but I don't own it physically, so... And finally, <laughs> it's the Heartstopper um, series by... Um, Alice Oseman, I blinked. Um, I read the first one, the first volume um, this month in April. So yeah, I really wanna read the second volume and the third volume which are out. And um, you can read them um, online, which I think is really great. So that's what I did with the first volume. So I don't own it physically. I would love to because it's absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'm reading it. I'm reading them online, so this is it. So yeah, so these are all the series, the book series that I haven't completed yet and that I want to complete. I really want to finish them. So you know, there's other series that I have on my shelf that I haven't started yet and I would like to finish a couple of series before I even think about um starting a new series like i have to finish some of them <laughs> before um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below which series book series you're most excited to complete as i would like to know and i'll see you in the next video bye wow there's so many bugs outside it's disgusting Ugh. oh my god